Hey guys, it's been a while since I've been able to post. I changed jobs and uh, just haven't been able to do what I was doing before I changed. So back on game, just working out my schedule. Um, tonight we're going to be doing some delicious Italian meatballs. So I tried this recipe before I even did this um, video just because I want to make sure that it would taste really good. So in my bowl currently, I have about a cup of parm cheese, a cup of Italian style breadcrumbs. I broke out my delish Italian seasoning. Sorry, let me get that out of the way. We've got one egg, um, some olive oil, and some fresh garlic chopped up and delicious. And then I'm gonna add in a pound of ground beef and a pound of mild Italian sausage. Um, and then I'll be back. All right, so I got it mixed up really, really well. And now it's time for some scooping. Um, I'm gonna try to set up the phone. You guys know I'm not really super savvy at this. Let's see, oh, hold on. Oh, we'll use this. So um, I won't bore you and make you watch me do this whole thing, but I just scoop, really make sure they're made well. I, I like to make sure I squash them pretty good. I know that's not like a technical term, but um, that way they'll hold together well. And here's our Instant Pot. Just drop her in there. And I'm gonna do that until I have no meat left. And we've got meatballs. Um, and then we'll finish. So I will not make you watch me do, I don't even know how many meatballs this is going to make. I feel like it's going to make quite a few, which is good because then we can hopefully make it last for a lunch and a dinner or a dinner and a lunch, I should say. If you don't have a scoop, do it by hand. I just like the scoop. I feel like it makes them a little more uniform. Um, so that it doesn't, I don't know. I just like the evenness of the cooking when they're uniform. Like I said, though, see, I'm just squashing them as I go after I have them and then rolling into a ball. That way I make sure it's a nice tight ball and I don't have to worry about it just falling apart. Oops. Let's see, I flick food at myself. Okay, this is probably the most labor intensive part of this, so I'll be back. Okay, so I'm all done. I've got a pot full of meatballs. There's gotta be at least 40 in here. Um, it took me about 10 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put sauce on it. Now this recipe that I'm using calls for just a jar of sauce. We love extra sauce. Now. Some people feel like they need to season it more, but I feel like you put so many different seasonings in these meatballs with the fresh garlic, the Italian seasoning, that everything, you didn't need an extra one. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pour that on top. Mm, that looks so good. And then I'm gonna follow up with my Barilla sauce. Now, the one thing I did the other day when I made this recipe, is I went ahead and I just kind of shook it like this just to make sure the sauce got in between all the meatballs because I want each meatball to get some of that sauce on there. Now, here's the beautiful part. Literally, I'm going to set this for five minutes, high pressure, and then I'm going to let it manually steam release or no, what is it? Uh, natural steam release. 10 minutes. That gives me time to go get showered, ready for work, and have my husband and family, my kids, dinner all ready for them. So when they come home tonight, all I gotta do is boil spaghetti and dinner is served. So my last um, little bit of this will be after I'm ready for work, almost ready to go, and you guys get to see the finished meatballs. <laughs> 